Jamal, welcome back. Um, what is the feeling kind of coming back into the building, just, just getting ready to go, getting ready for another season? Uh, it feels great. Uh, I think we're all excited and um, coming back refreshed mentally and ready to go. Jamal, now that you had a summer to sit on it, what do you think is the biggest lesson for the team collectively from last year and for you personally for, la for last year? Um, just taking it day by day, one day at a time, bringing our best each and every day. Um, and just kind of bringing that work ethic, you know. We know what it takes to, to win a championship. It was tough to go back to back. And now we realize, you know, how tough that was. So going into this year with the better experience, better knowledge, um, and some new pieces as well. Jamal, I know you mentioned before the Olympics that you were focused on Team Canada and wanted to wait on contract talks and all that. Uh, how, I guess, pleased are you that, that you're locked in in Denver for the foreseeable future? And, and was there any point where you were not confident that a deal would get done, or were you pretty no. sure about it the whole time? I was pretty confident, man. Pretty confident. I'm happy to be here. Uh, Jamal, how much, how much are you looking forward to playing with Russell Westbrook? And what does his energy provide to this team? I mean, I, I think everybody knows what uh, Russ brings to the table and uh, the type of energy and passion he plays with. Uh, he's brought that everywhere he's gone. He's going to bring leadership here as well. So I think he's going to be really good for us. Um, and just excited to get it going. Obviously, this is our first time seeing each other. So just excited to set foot on court and get things rolling. Jamal, do you have any goals that are different this year than in previous years? And if so, what are they? No, all the same. Jamal, sorry to be the guy to ask, but, but how are you feeling physically? Or is there going to be any limitations to start this short training camp? No, I feel good. Jamal, can you, um, obviously, Team Canada, you were with Team Canada. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your experience with Team Canada and something that you learned from there and bring to the team for this year? Uh, not really. Honestly, that's two different teams. I'm only with Team Canada for a, a month, so no, not really. Um, just excited to be here. Um, excited to get things rolling, man. You know, every every season, every new season is uh, a new opportunity for all of us. So we want to get going on the right foot and just have the right approach, you know, especially early on. Coach Malone mentioned you've talked to some of the young guys about urgency, about this window, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word. Do you, do you tell the new guys or tell the young guys about that as an emphasis for you and your window? And how does the contract and that being behind you affect that? I don't understand the question. Say it again. How important is this window for you? Because Coach Malone said you told the guys, look, you can rest in 20 years. We're in this window now. Yeah, I mean, just like I said, it's a new opportunity for everybody, and uh, just make the most of it. Don't take advantage of uh, or don't take it for granted. Um, the opportunity that we have of winning right now, you know, it doesn't go, it doesn't come by often, and it doesn't happen everywhere. Uh, that was just my message to them, and I think um, as the players, as the young guys get older, they'll see that it's tougher to win in this league, and um, you know it's tough to even for GMs to create a team like this. You know that this well talented and that uh, gets along this well. You know I think off the court as well. So I just said you know just take advantage of the moment. We got a chance to do some great things. Um, let's make the most of it. Jamal, I, I believe you said last season one of your individual goals was to improve your individual defense. I wonder if you had any similar kind of uh, goal this season. What would you like to get better at? Obviously everything, but nothing, nothing that stands out in particular. Jamal, um, uh, Malone was saying that Julian's been in the gym pretty much every day this summer. I was just curious sort of if you've already seen a beginning to now development from him when he got drafted and, and just sort of what stood out to him? Yeah, I think he's just getting more comfortable. I think that's the biggest thing is just getting comfortable handling the ball in situations and making reads, not feeling rushed or not feeling like the game is too fast like it is in college. Or, um, but yeah, I mean, he's been hooping and we expect that of him. He's a, he's a great talent and um, 
his skill set is uh, has great potential. So I think the sky's for limit for him. And as long as he keeps working and stays committed to himself and his goals, you know, he'll, he'll he'll be just fine. Jamal, what's it always like to not really talk to Joker a lot during the summer and then see him on the first day? And then I, I get, saw he has a beard now, kind of. What would you think of that? Uh, yeah, we saw each other at the Olympics. He had a beard then. So, I don't know. <laughs> Jamal, uh, you'll be playing a lot more with uh, Julian and Christian this year. Uh, how do each of those guys complement your game, and, and how can they help the team get to where you guys want to go? Uh, both are winners, man. They uh, both know how to win and want to win, uh, are hungry to win and get better. Um, and they they bring that to to the team that they're on, and they uh, even in the huddles they're not afraid to speak up or say something. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I can tell that they're uh, going to be young leaders, um, just kind of coming into their own. So I've I've always expected great things from CB, um, and uh, Julian's you know just proving to everybody that you know how lethal of a player he can be. Um, especially in these coming years, just needs some more experience, needs more playing time, needs to kind of go through the mistakes to. Uh, to have an even bigger leap. So, like I said, we're all really excited for those guys. Jamal, I think this was your second summer in a row, hanging out and working out with uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. Did I say that correctly? Uh, I'm just curious what you're hoping to get out of that as a competitor, or is that just more of a getaway from basketball, you love MMA, kind of other interests type of deal? Oh, I love MMA. Um, obviously, it's cool to, you know, my, my, my coaches are the best in the world, our, our former champs in the world, so I thought that was cool. Um, and just, it's, uh, it's just refreshing, man. It's refreshing for me to go and do something else that I love. Um, it's a lot of fun. You know, I might have a career there after this, um, but, you know, I'm doing this right now. Thanks, Appreciate Paul. it.